What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another top 5 clothing glitches that still work after patch 1.58. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the longest glitch, which will be the director mode glitch. Out of these 5 glitches, this one's obviously going to be the longest one. But for this, you will want to go ahead and go into story mode first. And so whenever you are in story mode, go ahead and just set your story mode character to whoever. It doesn't matter if it's Michael, Franklin, or Trevor. After you have set your character to one of those, you're now going to want to go ahead and pull up their interaction menu and just go into director mode. When you are in director mode and you are in the casting menu, you're going to want to go ahead and click on actors. After you do click on actors, go ahead and click on animals. And once you do click on animals, you're going to want to go ahead and shortlist one of these birds. You can go ahead and shortlist the chicken hawk, the cormorant, the crow, or the seagull, which I don't have. So any four of those birds, you can go ahead and shortlist. If you don't have any of the any of those four birds, then go ahead and look up on YouTube where you can find the peyote plants in story mode so then you're able to unlock these birds whenever you are whenever you do form into one of those birds into story mode then you guys will have one of those birds unlocked in into director mode so yeah go ahead and shortlist a bird that you want after you do shortlist one of those birds i'm gonna go ahead and shortlist the cormorant go ahead and back out of the animals scroll down to online characters and click on online characters and you're going to want to go ahead and shortlist your first online character don't shortlist your second online character because the glitch won't work, so make sure you shortlist your first online character. After you shortlist your first online character, and then you go ahead and back out of your actors, and you are back at the casting menu, go to your shortlist actors, and the first one should be the bird, and then the second one should be your online character. After you have those two shortlisted, you can go ahead and back out and just exit to story mode. Once you are back in story mode, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just hit pause, scroll to online, scroll down to play GTA online and just go to an invite only session. Whenever you do load back into a public session and you are back on your first character, you're now going to want to go ahead and just head to the time trial. So the time trial for this week for me is over here at this location. Every week it does change. So uh, just whenever you do find the time trial, go ahead and go to that location. After you are at the time trial, you're now going to want to go ahead and try to find a vehicle it doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a civilian car, just go ahead and find a vehicle. And whenever you do have that vehicle, you're now going to want to go ahead and just drive up to the time trial. And whenever you do start the time trial, after, as soon as you do start it up, you're going to want to hurry up and switch to a story mode character. So I'd probably recommend Franklin because I know that one works. So now, you're whenever you do start the time trial, go ahead and hold down on your D-pad, move up to the story mode character, and just go ahead and go into story mode. After you load back into your story mode character, you're now going to want to go ahead and pull up their interaction menu, scroll down to director mode, and just go into director mode. So when you are in director mode and you are at the casting menu, go ahead and scroll down to your shortlist actors, click on shortlist actors, and you're back and forth on the bird and your online character, and you should see duplicate this. You're going to want to go ahead and keep doing this back and forth for at least 25 to maybe 30 minutes. And then you'll see that your character does transfer on top of the hay bale. So I'll just get back to you whenever my character does transfer on top of the hay bale. When your character does tr finally transfer over to the hay bale, like you guys can see right here, if your character does disappear, then just go ahead and go back to your online character spot and he'll be back on the trailer. So just go ahead and go back and forth again until he is on top of the hay bale. And then once you see that your character has actually stuck on top of the hay bale, then you can just go ahead, back out of the shortlist, and whenever you back out of the shortlist, scroll up to actors, click on actors, scroll down to beach bums, go ahead and click on beach bums, and if you're on Xbox, you're just going to go ahead and press X to change your appearance, or if you're on PlayStation, you're going to go ahead and press square to change your appearance. And if you do see the storm mode character, then you're just going to want to go ahead, back out of the beach bums, back out of the actors, scroll, go back down to your shortlist actors, and then you should see that you guys should see that your online character and your bird are there. You're just going to want to go ahead and go back and forth on your bird and your online character again until your character goes back on top of the hay bale. And then just go ahead and do the process again. Just like I said, you guys will want to go ahead and back out, scroll up to actors, scroll down to beach bombs, and then just change your appearance. So right now, uh, if you know how to do the freeze Christmas mask glitch, you guys can go ahead and do that. 
but if you guys are if you guys don't feel like doing that because i heard it could take up to maybe like 15 minutes to get a to freeze your christmas mask and also up to an hour so it's just up to you whatever you guys want to do or you guys can just keep changing your appearance until you find an outfit you like with a christmas mask so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just go back to you whenever I do find an outfit that I like with a Christmas mask. So whenever you have found an outfit you liked with a Christmas mask, you guys can also, if you guys really want to, you guys can find an outfit with joggers, like pink joggers, blue joggers, or white joggers with a Christmas mask. And you guys can do the glitch like that if you guys want, if you guys are trying to find a pair of joggers. But once you have found an outfit you like with a Christmas mask, you're now going to want to go ahead and just shortlist this outfit. So if you're on Xbox, press Y, or if you're on PlayStation, press triangle. So once you have shortlisted that outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead and just back out, back out of the actors, scroll down to shortlist actors, and scroll down to your modded outfit that you did uh, shortlist. Once you have, uh, once you are hovering over that outfit, which should be the boardwalker, you're now going to want to go ahead and select that outfit in, into director mode. When you have loaded into director mode, you're now just going to want to go ahead and walk around for at least 15 seconds. Once you have walked around in director mode for at least 15 seconds to 30 seconds, you're now going to want to go ahead and go into story mode. So you can go ahead and hold down on your D-pad and move up to one of the story mode characters with your right analog stick. So the only one unlocked for me right now is Franklin. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Franklin. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to exit director mode? Just hit yes. Whenever you load into story mode, it should be your modded outfit. So now you're just going to want now you're just going to want to go ahead and walk around for at least another 15 seconds to 30 seconds. Once you have walked around for at least 15 to 30 seconds in story mode, you're now going to want to go ahead and just go to an invite only session. So just hit pause, scroll to online, scroll down to play GTA online, and then go to an invite only session. So yeah, whenever you guys load back into a public session, you should see that you are wearing your modded outfit. So now you can just go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's basically it. So if you guys want to go ahead and change components on your outfit, the, just something if you guys want to change something, you guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, if something does mess up and components do disappear, that's the reason you save the outfit. So then you can re-equip the outfit. Uh, you guys can also do the telescope glitch so if, if you guys have like something checkerboard and something does disappear uh you guys can go ahead and do the telescope glitch like with the bulletproof helmet or something and then whenever you are wearing the bulletproof helmet go ahead and do the telescope glitch and then equip the modded outfit that you want to transfer the helmet to and then whenever you walk away from the telescope the helmet should be on that outfit so yeah that's basically it so now we can just go ahead and move on to the second clothing glitch so for the second clothing glitch, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how you guys can transfer the scuba flippers over to certain uh, components in the clothing store. So you guys can see right here, I made Knit Tricks outfit. So I guess if you guys want to go ahead and I'll show you the basics to this outfit. I'm not going to show you how to make the whole outfit, but I'll show you how I got the pants with the, with the scuba flippers. And then if you guys want to watch the video I made, I think it was like maybe a couple days ago, maybe like a week ago that I made Knit Tricks outfit. You guys can go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description on that video. So yeah, so for this outfit or to get the flippers on uh, this pair of pants, you guys will just want to go ahead, walk over here to the front counter. Whenever you are here at the front counter, go ahead and scroll down to scuba, which will be right here on slot 46. Click on scuba and scroll down until you do find orange scuba, which will be right here on slot seven. Once you do find the orange scuba, go ahead and equip the orange scuba. After you do equip the orange scuba, you guys will see the components and the like the air, the air tank will come off. So now you're gonna wanna go ahead and try to find a body of water. So right here, just like right next to the clothing store, there's a body of water that I can go to. It doesn't matter what type of body of water you go to as long as you guys are able to swim. Whenever you have gotten into the body of water, you should see that your character starts swimming around with the air tank. And if you guys look right under the water, you will see that your character also has the scuba flippers. So now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to illuminating clothing and scroll through illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds. 
Once you've scrolled through illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds, you're now going to want to go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, and scroll down to find a new session, and you're going to want to find a new session. And once you do spawn in, you should see that your character spawns in out of the body of water with the flippers on. Once you load back into a public session, you should see that you guys are wearing your scuba outfit with the scuba flippers. So once you do see that, you can now just go back inside the clothing store. When you are back inside the clothing store, go ahead and walk over here to your tops. Whenever you do get to your tops, scroll down to Overcoat Blazers, which should be right here on slide 18. Click on Overcoat Blazers, and you're going to want to go ahead and click on No Top, which will get rid of your glitch shirt under the scuba outfit. So whenever you guys uh, have your outfit like this without the glitch shirt, go ahead and go up here to the front counter. Whenever you are here at the front counter, hit Edit Saved Outfits, and you're going to want to go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. When you have saved the scuba outfit on any slot, go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits and scroll down until you do find bodysuits, which will be right here on slot 41. So go ahead and click on bodysuits and you're going to want to go ahead and just equip one of these three outfits right here. So I already have this one bought or I already bought this one. So I'm going to go ahead and equip this bodysuit right here. After you do equip one of these three bodysuits, you're now going to want to go ahead and back out of the front counter and just head to your apartment, your CEO, your CEO office, or your agency so we can do the telescope glitch. So whenever you do get to a place that has a telescope, you're just going to want to go into the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. Sometimes it'll just glitch. So go ahead and try it again. Run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You guys will see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and go ahead and select the outfit which on whichever slot you saved the scuba outfit on. Whenever you guys have equipped the scuba outfit, go ahead and walk away from the telescope and you should see that the mask does combine with the, with the scuba outfit just like this. So now you're just gonna wanna go ahead and head to a clothing store. Whenever you do get back to the clothing store, you're gonna wanna walk over here to your tops. Whenever you do get to your tops, scroll down until you do find suit jackets, which will be right here on slot three. Click on suit jackets and you're just gonna be looking for the black tail coat. So the black tail coat should be right here on slot 38. And so you guys can see right here, it gives you the blue jeans. Uh, I guess if you guys want the white pants, you guys can go ahead and select this. Any of these outfits that has the white pants, it's up to you. The only thing you guys can't do, which sucks, is go to pants and select any types of pants you guys want. For some reason, you guys can't do that. So you guys will have to only go to suit jackets like I have right here and just find uh, an outfit with the pants that you guys like, which there's not much of a choice. It's either you guys get the jeans or you guys get these white pants. So it's just up to you. But once you do find the black tail coat, which is the blue jeans, you're gonna wanna go ahead and equip that outfit. After you do equip that outfit, go ahead and back out and you should see that you guys are wearing the outfit with the, with the orange scuba flippers. So now you guys can go ahead and create the knit tricks outfit. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description, but it's just, uh, it's up to you on however you guys want to make, change your outfit. Like I said, you guys can change your tops. Uh, you guys don't have to keep this top. You guys can go ahead and pop, put on any types of tops you guys want. Uh, and you guys will not lose the flippers. So you guys can change your gloves. You guys can put on any mask, helmet, any top. You guys just cannot change the pants. Uh, that's all you guys can do. And if you guys want to redo the glitch with different types of scuba flippers, just go over here to the outfits, go over here to the scuba, and go ahead and select the certain uh, type of scuba gear, and that'll give you the different color uh, scuba flippers. But yeah, that's basically it. So you guys can just go up here, hit edit saved outfits, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And yeah, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the third outfit glitch. For the third clothing glitch that I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you how, how you guys can change your the color of your right helmets to the adversary color. So you guys can change it to orange, purple, green, or pink. Those are the four adversary colors that you guys can get for the right helmets. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it right now. So whenever you are at the clothing store, you're going to want to walk over here to your hats. Whenever you do get to your hats, scroll down until you do find helmets. And helmets should be right here on slot 16. So click on helmets. After you click on helmets, scroll down to slot, I believe it's gonna be 16. Yeah, right here on slot 16. After you guys scroll down to slot 16, 
These will be the four uh, biker helmets that you guys will need to buy. It's going to be the digital helmet, the cubist helmet, the cobble helmet, and the death helmet. So from slot 16 through 19 are the helmets you're going to want to go ahead and buy. After you guys buy those four ride helmets, or after you guys fight, buy the four of those uh, bike helmets, those are going to be the ones that will help you change the color of your ride helmet. So uh, the one that I know will be pink is going to be the digital helmet. I forgot the others. You guys can go ahead and try them out, but I'm going to only show you guys one. So then you guys can just like figure out the others. But uh, so the pink one is going to be the digital helmet and I'm going to do that one right now. So after you guys have bought those four helmets, you're going to want to go ahead and back out, scroll down to ride helmets, which will be on slot 24. And you're going to be looking for the LSPD riot, which is on slot 22. And you're going to want to go and equip that ride helmet. After you do equip the LSPD riot, you're now going to want to go and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to bike helmets and scroll through your bike helmets until you do find one of those four helmets that I said for you to buy. So like I said, I'm going to be doing the digital helmet, which will give me the pink ride helmet. And, and after you guys have found that, then you guys will need to grab a car. So you guys can either grab your personal vehicle or you guys can grab just a random car on the street. When you are hovering over one of those four uh, bike helmets, like I said earlier, that changes the color of your ride helmet, you're not gonna wanna go ahead and back out of your style. Scroll down to Secure Serve, click on Secure Serve, and you're gonna wanna join a CEO. After you do join a CEO, go ahead and hop inside that car. Whenever you do hop inside one of the vehicles, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a civilian car, go ahead and pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on Secure Serve CEO. Scroll down to management, uh, scroll down to style, click on style, and on your CEO style, scroll one time to the right, and then scroll one time to the left back to none, and then just hop out of your car. After you do hop out of the car, put away your interaction menu, and now you're just going to want to go ahead, hold right on your D-pad so then you guys can lift up your helmet visor, just like this, and it'll change the color of your helmet, just like that. And then you can hold right on your D-pad again to put your visor down, and just like that, it changes the color. So if you guys want to go and test it out with the other three, I'll leave the link in the description, or not link, I'll leave the the components. If you guys for some reason forgot, I'll leave them down in the description so then you guys can find them. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you guys can go and save the outfit and save it on whichever slot you want. And that's basically it. So now we can go ahead and move on to the fourth clothing glitch. For this fourth clothing glitch that I'm going to show you how to do, it's going to be the checkered sports top with checkered pants. But for this, it's not going to be through the transfer glitch, but it's going to be through story mode glitch through the flight school. So if you guys have ever done that glitch, if you guys haven't, then this is obviously going to be new to you. But if you guys have done it, then you guys will know what to do mainly. So for this, you will want to go ahead and go, go into story mode and make sure your character is Michael. It has to be Michael for this. If it's not Michael and you guys try to use the other characters, then obviously this glitch won't work so whenever you are michael and you are in story mode you're going to want to head to a suburban clothing store so if you just want to go ahead and make sure where i'm at if you guys want to go to this clothing store you guys can go ahead and do that i'm right here at the suburban clothing store so whenever you are here at the suburban clothing store you're going to want to go ahead head over here to your shirts whenever you are here at the shirts inside the clothing store scroll down to the blue geometric shirt which is right here so you're going to want to go ahead and equip the blue geometric shirt. After you have equipped that shirt, you can go ahead and back out and walk over here to the pants section. So whenever you, or it's actually, I guess the shorts, my bad. So whenever you do get to the shorts, you're going to want to go ahead and scroll down and you're going to want to go ahead and equip the gray cargo shorts, which are these right here. After you do equip the gray cargo shorts and you have the blue geometric shirt, that's all you guys will need. So I'll leave a cheat code for Xbox and PlayStation if you guys want to go and do that. So then you guys are able to spawn in a buzzard right in front of you. But now you're just going to want to go ahead and head to the airport. When you are here finally at the airport, you're going to want to go ahead and pull up your phone and scroll to the quick save, which will be next to contact. So go ahead and scroll to quick save and you're going to want to go ahead and just quick save your game just in case anything happens, like if your game crashes or just anything like that, or if your console for some reason turns off, you guys can just hit pause, go ahead and go to game, and whenever you guys scroll down to load game, you guys will see all your safe progress right here, and then you guys can just spawn back here. After you have quick save your game, now you're gonna wanna go ahead and just go up these flight school stairs. 
whenever you are up the flight school stairs, it's in the top left hand corner, it's going to say enter flight school. So you're going to want to go and just hit right on your D pad to enter the flight school. And the first challenge it's going to have you do, it's going to be called, I think it's, it's something takeoff. Uh, it's going to be training takeoff. That's what it's called. So that's the job you're going to want to go ahead and select. So go ahead and select training takeoff. And it'll probably bring you inside the instructions. If it does, just go ahead and skip the instructions. If it doesn't, then it's just going to put you inside of the plane, which is fine. But whenever you are inside of the plane, you're going to want to go ahead and hit pause. And once you do hit pause, scroll to your settings, click on settings, click on controls, scroll down to your targeting mode, and set your targeting mode to free aim. After you have set your targeting mode to free aim, now you're going to want to go ahead and try to join a friend that is in a different targeting mode. So I have a friend right here that I can join that's in a different targeting mode. And so once you do get the first alert, you're going to want to go and accept the first alert, but then decline the second. So it could take a little bit, but uh, for the for the details to load in. And then once it does give you the details, it says uh, session details. You guys can see in the bottom right. Once you guys get the first alert, go ahead and accept the first alert and then decline the second get out of the plane and then hit pause as fast as you can after you do that now you're going to want to go ahead and try to join that person again that's in a different targeting mode and this time you're going to want to go ahead after you try to join their game accept the first alert but then stay on the second alert until you guys hear the job fully fail so it's like until you guys hear that uh it's like whenever you guys hear the job fully fail like you hear that done sound i don't know how to explain it something like that and then that's whenever you're going to want to go ahead and uh, go to your Xbox or PlayStation Home. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept the first alert. Now stay on here until you guys uh, stay on the second alert until you guys hear the job fully fail. Then go to your Xbox or PlayStation Home, click on GTA again, decline the alert, and then hit pause. And then try to hit pause like as fast as you can. You guys can see that I kind of hit pause kind of fast, but then for some reason I was able to like hit pause fast enough again. And whenever you guys see that Michael is on the flight school stairs just like this that's how you guys you know that's how you guys know that you hit the glitch if you see that you guys spawned in the sky then that means you guys didn't hit the glitch right so you guys will have to do it again so just uh just go back into the training takeoff and do that process that i just told you so now whenever you do see that michael is on the stairs you're going to want to go ahead and scroll to online scroll down to play gta online and then just go to an invite only session and then you guys will see like this menu stays up for a little bit and then it'll come back whenever you guys are about to load into a session but i'll just get back to you whenever i'm about to load into a session so whenever you do load into a session that you guys will see this menu is still up on your screen so you're going to want to go ahead if you're on xbox press b and then a but if you're on playstation go ahead and press circle and then x and then just like this it's going to ask if you guys want to exit the flight school and then you guys will spawn back in at the flight school stairs and spawn in with this outfit. So this is what your outfit will look like. Your arms will come back. But I'm going to go ahead and show you on how you guys can get rid of this uh, glitch shirt that you have in your checkered top. So if it just annoys you, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. If it doesn't annoy you, then you guys can just go ahead and keep it. But I'm going to also go ahead and equip, uh, I guess, a mask and a helmet with this outfit. But first, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this glitch shirt. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to the clothing store. Okay, guys, after you do get to the clothing store, you're just going to want to go ahead, walk up here to the front counter. Whenever you are here at the front counter, hit edit save outfits and just save this outfit on any slot. It doesn't matter. After you have saved the outfit, you can now back out of your edit saved outfits and scroll down to heist coveralls, which will be right here on slot 13. Click on heist coveralls and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and select one of these outfits that has a toxic mask. So after you do select one of these outfits with a toxic mask, you can now back out of the front counter. And now you're just going to want to head to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch. After you get to the pier and you are near a telescope, you should be wearing the outfit with the toxic mask. So now you're just going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to your style, scroll down to your outfits, and go ahead and equip the checkerboard outfit we just saved. After you have done that, go ahead and walk away from the telescope, and you should see that the mask does combine with your outfit just like this. After the outfit is with your checkerboard outfit, you're now going to want to head to the gun store so we can save this outfit. Whenever you are here at the gun store, go ahead and walk over here to the clothing, hit edit saved outfits, and, and just save this outfit once again on which, whichever slot you saved it on before. And after you did save the outfit, you're now going to want to go and start up the job that's called A Titan of a Job. So go ahead and hit pause, 
scroll to online, hit jobs, play job, Rockstar created, scroll down to missions, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of, Titan of a job, and just fully start up that job. After you are in the Titan of a job mission, you should see that the, glitch, the glitched shirt has disappeared. So now you're just going to want to go ahead, walk over here to the clothing again, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit once again on whichever slot you saved it on before. Now, after you did save it, you can back out of the tops, pull up your phone, and just leave the job from your phone. And now that you did load back into a public session, you're now just going to want to go back inside the gun store and you're just going to want to save the outfit once again, one more time. And well, I guess not one more time because we're going to be putting a mask and helmet on. So after you did save the outfit, now you're just going to want to head over here to the mask store. Once you have gotten to the mask store, you guys can go ahead and put on any mask you want, but this is what I'm going to put on. So whenever you do get to the mask store, scroll down to Valentine's, which is on slot 22, click on Valentine's, and you're going to want to go ahead and equip the white mysterious. After you do equip the white mysterious, you can go ahead and back out, walk over here to your hat, scroll down to the bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19. And if you guys don't own this uh, tan bulletproof helmet, go ahead and buy it real quick. And then once you have bought the tan bulletproof helmet, I already own it, so I'm not going to go ahead and equip it. But after you do buy it, then you're just going to want to go over here to the mask and just re-equip the white mysterious Valentine's mask. After you, after you do have the uh, white mysterious Valentine's mask on, you're now just going to want to head over here to the telescope glitch, which is on the pier. Once you are on the pier and you are near a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character's mask does come off. Now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the tan bulletproof. Whenever you do find the tan bulletproof helmet, which looks like this, you can just walk away from the telescope and you should see that the mask does combine with your helmet just like this. Now, to combine the mask and helmet with the checkerboard outfit, do the telescope glitch again. So go, so go and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad, pull up your interaction menu. Again, you should see that your mask and helmet disappear. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your outfit, and go and equip the checkerboard outfit. Once you do equip the checkerboard outfit, go ahead and walk away from the telescope, and you should see that the helmet and mask do combine with the checkerboard outfit just like this. Now you can just go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want, and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the fifth clothing glitch. With the final clothing glitch, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how you guys can transfer the dock vest to any of your tops on your outfits. So for this, I'm not going to go and show you on how to make this whole outfit because yesterday uh, I made a whole video on how to make this outfit. So you guys can go ahead and check that out if you guys want to. And it shows you how to make this whole outfit. But I'm going to go ahead and show you on how to just put this vest on any of your tops. So you're going to want to go ahead and just walk over here to your tops whenever you get to the clothing store. Whenever you are here, scroll down and you can go ahead and equip any top that you guys want as long as you're able to equip a certain uh, utility vest. So if you guys are wearing a shirt and you are able to equip, let's see, the peach plate carrier, which should be right here on slot 43, if your top allows you to put on this utility vest, then the glitch will work. So this is going to be the top I'm going to be putting the vest on. You guys can also do it shirtless. So you guys can see I'm going to go ahead and try to find so no top. And you guys can see if I scroll down to utility vest, scroll down to peach plate carrier, uh, which should be right here on slot 43. You guys can see this also works. So if you guys want to be shirtless while you guys are putting on the dock vest, you guys can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go ahead and re-equip the orange hoodie and... So once you do have the top that you guys do like, just go ahead and scroll down to Utility Vest, which will be right here on slot 53. Click on Utility Vest and scroll down to slot 43, which should be the Peach Plate Carrier, which you guys will want to equip. So go and equip the Peach Plate Carrier whenever you have the top that you guys like. Now, if your character has any head accessories, go ahead and just take that off your character. And my the only reason my character is bald is from the last glitch I did. Uh... If you guys did the last glitch and you guys are for some reason wondering on how to get your hair back, just find a new session and you guys will get your hair back. But yeah, so once you do have the top you like and you are wearing that peach plate carrier vest, go ahead and just go over here to the front counter and uh, hit edit saved outfits and just save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. 
After you have saved the outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits and scroll down to your heist coveralls, which will be right here on slot 13, and scroll down um, from slot 9 through slot 12 and select one of these outfits with a toxic mask. So after you do select one of these outfits with a toxic mask, you can now back out of the front counter and you're going to want to head to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch. So when you have found a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and scroll down to your outfits and go ahead and select the outfit that you just saved at the clothing store with the peach plate carrier. So after you do equip that outfit, you can now put away your interaction menu and walk away from the telescope. And after you do walk away from the telescope, you should see that the mask does combine with your outfit just like this. So after your outfit or after your mask has combined with your outfit, you're now going to want to head over here to the gun store so we can save the outfit. Once you have made it to the gun store, just walk over here to your top section and just hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. And after you did save the outfit, go ahead and back out. And now you're just going to want to start up the job that's called a Titan of a job. So go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play job. Rockstar created, scroll down to missions, click on missions, and look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and just fully start up that job. When you load into the Titan of a job mission, you should see that you spawn in without the peach plate carrier vest. So this your outfit should only be with a mask. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead, walk back inside the gun store, go over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit once again on slot one or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. And now once you have saved it back out, pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Whenever you load back into a public session, you should see that your toxic mask has like this little white hoodie. If it doesn't and you guys are bald, then that's fine. It doesn't really matter as long as you guys are still wearing the toxic mask with your outfit as of right now. So once you are loaded back in, go ahead and walk inside the gun store. Walk over here to the right side where it should say outfits. Hit right on your D-pad. Scroll down to the Los Santos tuners, which is on slot 52, and you should see dock worker. And so whenever you guys do see that, if you guys for some reason don't have the Los Santos tuners, then that means you guys will have to go ahead and go uh, go over here inside your auto shop. And whenever you do get to your auto shop, you guys will have to do these certain jobs. You're going to have to do the data contract. And so whenever you do see the data contract and you guys complete that one, then after you guys complete that one, the job after that, you guys should see that it gives you the ECU job then you guys will have to complete the ECU job or whenever you guys click on the ECU job, it should you it should give you like three other jobs. And the three other jobs will be like the train inventory, schedule, and the robbery. So the, the bottom one, which will be the robbery, that one will be locked. So you guys don't have to worry about that one. But the one that you guys will wanna do that, that you guys will be able to get the dock vest unlocked, you guys will wanna go ahead and do the train inventory. So whenever you guys start up the train inventory, it's gonna have you go over here to the dock area. And I think about right here, there's gonna be like a van with like a character that you guys will see. Go ahead and go to that van and then you, it'll have you equip the dock outfit. Go ahead and equip the dock outfit and then just complete the rest of the mission on just whatever it tells you to do. And whenever you guys are wearing the dock outfit and after you have completed the job, then you guys will have the dock outfit complete. Uh, I hope that made sense, but once you do have the uh, dock vest unlocked, then you can just go over here Go to your outfit, scroll down to Los Santos Tuners, which is on slot 52, click on Dock Worker, and you can just click on one of these outfits that has the dock vest. So after you do equip one of the outfits with a dock vest, you're now going to want to head over here to your apartment so we can do the new merge glitch. Okay guys, once you have gotten to your apartment, go ahead and go into your heist planning boardroom. Whenever you go to your heist planning boardroom, go up to your heist planning board, and after you hit right on your D-pad to uh, be at the heist planning board, out of all the heist, go ahead and select the Fleeka job. So out of all the five heists, the top one, it should be called the Fleeka job. After you do select the Fleeka job, the first one it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. So after you have completed the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do on the Fleeka job, it's going to be called Karuma. So that's, that's the one that we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So whenever you guys have that Karuma job ready to go, just go ahead and start up that job. When you have loaded into the crew job, make sure your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits. After your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits, then you can just wait for a random to join or you can have a friend help you out, it doesn't matter. 
and then once someone has joined you can just confirm your settings and then just launch the job when you load into here on your saved outfits on your owned outfit if you did save your outfit on slot one then go ahead and scroll one time to the right if you did save your outfit on slot 20 scroll one time to the left and then it should just be the outfit you made with the toxic mask so now you can just hit ready to play Whenever you've loaded into the job, you can just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you load back into a session, you should see that you guys are still wearing the dock worker outfit. So whenever you guys are wearing the dock worker outfit, go ahead and grab a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Once you do have a vehicle, go ahead and get inside that vehicle. After you've gotten inside that vehicle, pull up your interaction menu and join a, a CEO, secure serve CEO, or you can just join a motorcycle club. After you do after you do join a CEO or a motorcycle club, pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club. After you have done that, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style. And now on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. After you do that, you should see inside your car that you guys are wearing the dock worker outfit again. Now you can just hop out of your car and you should see that the dock worker vest does transfer over to the outfit that you guys made. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot that you guys want, and just create your outfit however you want. It doesn't really matter uh, unless you guys are creating my outfit. I showed you on how to make that outfit yesterday. So like I said earlier, you guys can go ahead and check out that video. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this uh, outfit glitch. So I hope you guys did enjoy all five of these outfit glitches. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.